Today, I have what could be the best all-around snowmobile jacket, the 2019 totally redesigned Storm Jacket from Climb. What's up, guys? My name is Ross Robinson, professional backcountry snowmobiler, and today, we're looking at the 2019 Climb Storm Jacket. It's been totally redesigned for this upcoming winter, and I'm really excited to share with you what I think about it and all of the amazing features. I think if you're gonna wear just one jacket for this upcoming season, the Climb Storm might be the jacket for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if it's your first time with us or with me, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that as I'm coming to you all winter long with everything snowmobile related. Before I jump into this, I wanted to point out something. I'm wearing this collared shirt right here, and you're probably like, wow, Ross, you're looking real, real fly today. Um, well, the truth is, is this is also a Climb product. This is the Climb Base Camp shirt. Just got it. It's really comfortable, really lightweight, um, has some amazing technology in it, you know. They're packing all the technology even into um, their casual lifestyle shirts. So this thing's got stretch panels. It's got hidden pockets right here. A little hidden pocket right there. It's got all that great stuff. Enough of that. Let's jump into the Storm Jacket and see what it's all about. So here it is, the 2019 Storm Jacket from Climb. Really excited about it. And I just wanna tell you a quick backstory on this jacket. So on the Climb Backcountry team, every year we get together and chat with Climb designers, engineers, everybody about what gear we're liking, what gear we think we wanna see some changes in, you know, in that endless um, kind of progression of gear, just trying to make it better and better and better. So a few years ago, I brought up the point that I would love a jacket that was a little bit more relaxed fit, just a true shell jacket, hood, that um, really I could wear doing multiple things. You know, if I go into the mountains, uh, it, it's not just a snowmobiler's jacket, but something that um, has a little bit looser fit and finish. You could go to the mountain and ride your snowboard in, um, kind of all those things. And what do you know? We have the redesigned Storm Jacket and I'm really, really excited about it. Starting kind of with the overall appearance of the jacket. So it uses the Climb Performance Gore-Tex shell that is found in a ton of different jackets from Climb. It's trusted, it's amazing, and it'll keep you dry. It's an absolutely uh, just battle-torn Gore-Tex shell that we have put through the ringer for years and uh, that's why so many Climb pieces use it. The other thing that you're gonna notice about this jacket is it's a little bit looser fit and finish. Um, the shoulders aren't as square. Um, if they appear a little square now, that's because I have the shoulder pads in it along with my Liette Protectives um, kind of chest protector ballistic jersey that I wear when I ride. So I wanted to just kind of give you guys how it would really look on me, not just with nothing under it, but what I actually have on. And I also do have the matching Storm bibs on to kind of make sure everything is true to what it will be like when I'm riding. The performance shell is absolutely amazing. You can trust it, you're gonna stay dry. The fit and finish is loose. It's a little bit different. I wouldn't say it's loose, it's just more of a, it's less tailored, a little bit freer feeling jacket from Climb. Something that we don't typically see. You know, you look at the Stealth um, or the Valdez, those are definitely more kind of tailored fit. Uh, sharper edge jackets. Amazingly comfortable and work amazing on the snowmobile, but uh, you know, this is just a little bit different style from Climb and I'm really happy to see it. Another thing I love about the jacket is the hood. So rarely from Climb do we see a hood and a lot of guys want a removable hood. And my biggest thing with removable hoods is it's very hard to make them seamless. Y'all remember that jacket that you had that had the button on hood with the Velcro that was just ugly? and it just hung off all weird. So that's the hardest part about removable hoods is how can you make them seamless so they fit nicely and Climb has done an amazing job with it. So as you can see, it just looks like a regular hood. Zips off, a few tabs slide in and you can easily remove it for the guys who don't want that hood um, on their jacket. I love it, I'm probably gonna run it. I might run it on one day, I might run it off. You never know. For colors, Climb has brought three colors in this jacket. They have red, this is the black colorway, and they also have a gray colorway, which is this. So an awesome two-tone gray with black accents and lime accents and then lime zippers as well. This is a really cool looking jacket. I'm really excited about it. I didn't opt for the red because I don't think red is going to be in my color scheme this year for sleds, um, but I'm really excited about these two. 
Let's talk about venting for a second. So we all need to open our vents every once in a while and venting is a really important thing when it comes to outerwear. So this jacket features four large vents. We have them right here on each side. Backpack friendly vents along with backpack friendly back vents. So four big vents that'll be really nice. This jacket is not over engineered and over designed like um, some jackets can get. So talking about some of the finer features on this jacket, some of the little things that you'll see in a lot of climb jackets. One thing I really like about this and a lot of climb jackets is a large cuff. So I always love to run my glove inside my jacket. So large cuff, nice big Velcro to tighten it up if that's what you wanna do. It also has hood cinches. If you get in a gnar some gnarly conditions and you're hanging out by the fire, you can kind of pull that hood down in tight um, for whatever you need it for. As always, built-in powder skirt, keep the snow out, and the cinch around the waist, which is an absolute necessity for any jacket that I wear. I will not wear a jacket if it does not cinch down around the waist to help keep that powder out. Pocket-wise, we have three large pockets. Um, all of them are felt-lined, nice and soft. I don't know if felt is the right term. Climb, what is the right term for that? Um, but very nice pockets and one big chest pocket here that also has, oh, look at that, chamois. Sham wow, dog. Built in on a lanyard. That's a really cool little feature. So let's talk about sizing really quick. So I stand about 5'10", 5'11". I'm 160 to 170 pounds, usually 168.3. For this demo, I wear a large jacket just in the fact that I do wear body armor. So for this demo, I did put on my Liette Protectives body armor. I've got shoulder, kind of some shoulder protection, some elbow protection, and then chest and back protection. And uh, you know, I could squeeze into a medium jacket, but uh, it just doesn't give me the mobility that the large gives me, especially in the elbows, kind of with those that elbow protection that I like to wear. So I'm really excited about this jacket. I don't see any downfalls of it right off the bat. As I wear it, I might find some things that I would like changed or you know, might need to be improved, but overall the design is really well because they built directly off the old Storm platform. What they did is they basically took a bunch of these other jackets um, and kind of threw all these pieces together to make this jacket. So we kind of have the hood system from the new Locksaw onesie. Um, we kind of have the continued styling a little bit of the previous Storm jacket. The vents are in the same place as that. They're bringing fabrics from the Valdez and the Power Cross and all these other jackets to kind of make this one jacket that's a middle ground jacket for climb, um, but definitely has a styling and attitude all on its own. So I'm really excited about this jacket. 2019 Storm Jacket is a really great jacket and I'm excited to put it through the torture test. I'm dropping more videos. I'm gonna bring you a video of the new Storm bib that I'm wearing right now. It's the next video on my list. So check back with me or check the link in the description below um, for that video along with the link to Climb's website so you can go browse all of Climb's amazing gear. All right guys, so that was the first look and my first thoughts on the 2019 Storm Jacket from Climb. I'm really excited that they decided to redesign this jacket and add a bunch of the features they did. I'm really excited to get it on the snow and you can find me wearing this jacket for most of this year, putting it through the paces and really testing its limitations. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it, comment it, let me know what your favorite piece of gear is to wear in the backcountry and consider subscribing. We'll see you on the snow later.